Hi, in this slide what we're going to do is look at basically a profit and loss statement for an individual customer that is losing money. Um, remember that when we do cost to serve models so we can get customer profitability ranking reports, the reason that customers are at the top of the report or the bottom of the report is still a symptom. We don't know the underlying root, root, root causes of why some customers are so extremely profitable or unprofitable. To figure out what the root causes are, we need kind of deep dive cross-reference analytics, if you will. Uh, so by illustration, in this particular case study, we have a disguised case name. This is a company called Bulk Register Inc. Com Inc. And you can see that for the year, they had $48,000 in sales. Uh, we subtract the cost of goods sold. Uh, we're left with $13,633 in margin at a 28.2% or $70 in margin per invoice. Now, that's good sales and that's good margin for a typical distribution kind of customer. But then we subtract away from the gross profit um, selling expense. And this is, this is different than, these are miscellaneous selling expense. This is different than sales comp, which is down here. So we have from multiple allocations, we've got some, some sales comp. You can see order entry, there were 289 orders and it cost uh, the, the model had $5.10 per order at inside sales. Then the orders went to the warehouse where there were more line items than, than, than orders. There were 720 line items. And you can see that in this model, there was $16.68 in cost per line item. Now, a lot of people are going to freak out at that. They're going to say, well, wait a minute. I got guys sitting around out there, and, and they're, they're not doing anything, and so they can, they can take care of that order less than that and you know, so forth. And I'm not going to get into that right now, but uh, the truth of the matter is in a, with, a, with Waypoint Analytics that I, I work with very, very closely, they have distributors in well over 50 different channels, and there are some... Uh, uh, pick costs that are as low as a buck fifty, and there are ones that are as high as you know fifty, sixty dollars. The median cost is about eleven dollars and fifty cents. The point is, is that you know to run a warehouse, you you're running a warehouse to pick stuff, and so if you if you think of all the costs of running a warehouse and allocate most of that sort of to picking, you you realize there are a lot of costs and they're all variable. Um, so at any rate, uh, we have a lot of, of of orders, we have a lot of line item picking with this account. Um, and then when it comes to delivery, uh, fleet expense, you can see that uh, there's a charge of $27.50 per stop of the truck, and this company does have their own trucks. G&A is running 5.8% of revenue, which really is about maybe 20% of the margin dollars, which is you know, a reasonable uh, average G&A number for people, for distributors that, that do this kind of activity cost work. So the grand expenses are 24,000, which obviously are more than 13, to the tune of a loss of $11,000. But then we go ahead and pay sales comp of $4,400 because that's paid on the margin dollars up here of 13,000 as opposed to the loss. So the grand total loss of this account would be about $15,000. So, and here it is down here, or 80 bucks in, in losses in a sense per invoice. So we can then, right-click and find out the all the SKUs this customer bought from the most profitable SKU to the biggest losers. We can go look at all the invoices from the most profitable invoice to the biggest loser invoice and then look at the detail of those loser invoices to find out what the emergency orders were on the same items over and over. So by looking at these different uh, underlying uh, uh, mathematical realities, we start to get a pattern and realize, oh, you know what's going on? And the beauty of this is that wherever we have a high cost to serve customer, that customer has to mirror all of our costs more or less on the other side. And so we have an opportunity to turn a lose-lose relationship into a win-win and get more share of customer to boot. So this is an example of a, of a P&L uh, for an individual customer that has a high cost to serve and is a net loss. Thanks.